मिलावटी दूध का मामला है और डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर मुरैना मध्य प्रदेश का एक ज़िला आए हैं और कलेक्टर साहब इस सुनवाई के दौरान उन्हें दिशा निर्देश दे रहे हैं पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के मामले में किस तरह से काम किया जाना चाहिए या अदालतें किस तरह से रिएक्ट करती हैं इस पूरे मामले के ऊपर ये केस देखा जाना बहुत अच्छा है तो आइए देखते हैं इस केस में आगे क्या होता है Yes, Mr. Who are you? You are collector Morena. Since when are you functioning there as collector? Fifteen January two thousand twenty-two. Have you seen the papers, particularly the orders which this court has passed in the past? Yes. This matter relates to adulteration in milk and milk products in Morena district. How you plan to tide over this menace? Just a couple of years back, there was no proper mechanism. You can stretch it a bit more and be comfortable. You can hold it up. Yes, sir. So just a couple of years back, sir, there was no proper mechanism, sir. But since the government has started this Melavat Se Mukti Abhiyan, it has uh, increased both the lab facilities. It has monitored lab facilities, sir. It has also started monitoring the number of samples that are going. It has also monitoring our, ourselves also, sir. Earlier, sir, food adulteration department used to work entirely separately, sir. There was no proper monitoring of it. Now, sir, under a subdivisional level, at the subdivision level, the subdivisional magistrate is uh, the member of the head of the committee, and he is also monitoring that. I am also monitoring that, sir. The result of it is that, sir, in the last one and a half year, two years, the number of samples have tremendously increased, sir. If you, uh, if for example, say from say uh, 2014 to 2020, if we take the figures, sir, the amount of samples that were being taken were somewhere around 200 or something. In the last couple of years alone, sir, it has reached to 968 samples. Sir. So we are regularly taking those samples. Now look at the situation, sir. It's only because of some policy which has been coined sir. in recent past that the existing machinery was galvanized. And see the difference from 2014 to 2020, as you say, there were hardly 200 samples. Yeah. As against this figure, it has gone up to 900. 968 in the last couple of years. For in a couple of years, sir. why such things happen? Why you wait for the government to roll out a policy for that? It's a basic, basic. Uh, it's a big, I should say, these are the essential commodities of, for which regulation is provided for under the EC Act and the orders you are supposed to issue. Why system does not work on its own? Why you need policy? Why you need courts interventions? It's a matter in the public domain. You are a public servant. Your officers owe accountability towards public. Imagine the plight of people. These persons are playing with their ignorance. They have no option than to go for the milk or the milk products available in the market. What kind of milk, what kind of milk product are they consuming? They do not know. 
but the side effects is so shocking that people fall prey to such adulteration and suffer for all times to come in their life because of the injury for the for the adverse effect on health caused by this regular use of milk and milk products it's indeed a very very important step required to be taken not only check but ensuring that this is all these all are nibbled in the bud you better do an extensive exercise ensuring the outlets and the places where from milk supply is made do it i am happy that for last two year two months the sample numbers have gone up about four times almost four times you further increase it let there be awareness drive either by way of a short films in animation form or the posters or in a conspicuous places idea is to spread awareness not only about the adulteration but about the steps being taken by the administration let let the faith and trust reposed by people upon you people is contained and there is no deficit of trust so i will keep it pending you please do three things number 1 let your field officers prepare a comprehensive report this report must contain suspected places where adulteration in milk and milk products are processed sorry 2016 to the same directions so that's why i am i am saying that these are things which are required to be done sir my lord has said squarely the directions issued by under the press to 2016 see to check out the source that's a source sir. you have to eliminate the source this is one second let there be a camouflage investigation it came of raised why not why not no not came of raised we should say let there be different the teams of office staff different teams they should undertake secret investigation in the context of soliciting informations as regards modus operandi of such persons who are involved in such illegal activity and this they can do by gathering information from the inhabitants of the area why i am saying this team because they are in morena for quite a number of years and the, you are a new person there they are they have been there for quite some time so let them solve this information sure 
make sure that these people do not do a foul play they should be trusted persons who should report you properly with no influence of any extraneous interventions right this is second third let there be also surprise checks by the food inspectors team of the shops where such products are supplied it all has to be done on a very serious note it may require a little bit of more exercise but it's a, it's, a, it's really a very serious challenge which you have to accept well morana is known at least what we get to know through social media or print media that there is indiscriminate adulteration and either in milk products or in milk and that is supplied to different part of the country also during festival time let's erase this image of morena sure. and this you can do you are a promising young officer i expect all these steps to be taken effectively for a better quality of life for the public at large and then be relentless in the matter of apprehending these persons and ensuring that they are either put behind bars resist their bail applications to the best of your ability with sufficient material but that would be in public interest i am not saying court what order court should pass court will decide on its own merits but your your part of uh, opposition should be based on substantial material and should be placed before the court effectively that will reflect the bona fides of the administration in the matter of investigation and lastly i'll request you also sometimes do you have a town hall in morena yes sir we have sir you should call people of different avocation of life businessman political persons general public their representatives and have a meeting you preside it over and it should be participative in nature you motivate them you request them all right let us know how what we can do for the betterment of the city for the people of for the for the good quality of life to the people of morena and to give it all together a different picture unless there is a public participation your public policies may not attain the desired results so public participation is very important and i expect you to use your leadership qualities to galvanize this public machinery public at large make it a movement i don't know for how long you are in madhya pradesh what happened in indor for five fifth successive time it has been declared to the cleanest city of the india i have been in indor for over four years and my experience is people of indor they love their city and they have really cooperated with the administration ensuring that that no filth is on street or public places they have disciplined themselves supported the cause of public and ensuring that indore gets the first prize 
in five successive aspects. Same way, why can't you do it? Nothing is impossible. You all have sufficient training, you have good experience, and I'm sure if you give it a serious thought, you can come out with good ideas, good uh, methods for elimination of this adulteration and a healthy life for the public, ensuring public uh, healthy life to the public at large. So you do this and come back after one month or two months, whatever time friends do, so that when you come back, let me see what results my suggestions have yielded so far. Sure. When will you come back? Sir, give me, sir, at least two months. Sir. No problem. Sir. I give you two months. Sir. See, now all fe Hindu festivals are on, on foot. Again, they will start doing all this nonsense. So, before all this starts, you check it. So, I'll post it for further orders. Sir. In the second week of September? Sir, All right. Let's have it on 13th of September. Sure. All right. Sir.